in the event of an emergency, almost everyone knows to dial 911. But what if the person in need of assistance is deaf or hard of hearing? Helen Keller is credited with the quote, blindness separates people from things, deafness separates people from people. There are various ways to report emergencies and summon help in New York City. A deaf or hard of hearing individual can report an emergency through the use of an emergency call box. The emergency call box has two covers on its face. One cover is red with the word fire and a picture of fire. And the other cover is blue with the word police and a picture of a badge. The red cover is lifted and the button pressed to summon the fire department for both fires and medical emergencies. The blue cover is lifted and the button pressed to summon the police department when police assistance is needed. No voicing is necessary to notify the fire or police department of an emergency. You could tap on the box instead. There are two tapping patterns that are used. A continuous tapping pattern summons the police department. A two-tap pattern summons the fire department and medical assistance. Continue the tapping pattern until help arrives. You would use one of these patterns after pushing the red button for the fire department or blue button for the police department. These tapping patterns also can be used on a telephone to summon the fire department or police department after you've dialed 911. When using one of the tapping patterns, it is recommended that you continue it until help arrives. Also, remain at the box to direct the fire or police department to the emergency. Remember, a continuous tapping pattern is used to summon the police department. A two-tap pattern is used to summon the fire department for a fire or medical emergency. The following scenarios will help explain the various methods used by the deaf and hard of hearing when reporting emergencies in the city of New York. Hello, I am deaf. I need to report a fire at the corner of Pierpont and Columbia Heights. I will repeat, there is a fire at the corner of Pierpont and Columbia Heights. I will stay here until I see a truck arrive. Since people who are deaf or hard of hearing are unable to hear when the signal has gone through, the person who pushed the alert button will count to four before speaking to ensure that the fire department has received the signal. He will indicate that he is deaf and repeat his statement to ensure that the information is understood. If a deaf or hard of hearing person is unable to voice, he or she can still report a fire using an emergency call box by simply pushing the red button and using a tapping pattern. The caller either can place his or her hand on the speaker in order to feel the vibration of the 911 operator's voice or count to four before tapping. The tapping pattern should be performed on the speaker grill of the call box. The caller will tap a two-tap pattern for a fire or medical emergency. The tapping must continue for at least 90 seconds, but preferably should continue until response arrives. To summon the police for a crime, the individual pushes the blue button on the emergency call box. He taps against the grill since he cannot voice in a continuous one-tap pattern. Tap for at least 90 seconds 
but preferably until a patrol car or a police officer arrives. Your call for help is answered by a 911 operator. 911 operators are trained to handle all kinds of emergency calls and are able to trace telephone calls identifying the address of the caller. If the call for help came from a telephone or call box and tapping is heard, the emergency units requested are dispatched. There are two tapping patterns used to summon help. A continuous tapping pattern summons the police department. A two-tap pattern summons the fire department and medical assistance. Continue the tapping pattern until help arrives. It is important to note that all 911 operators are trained to recognize these two patterns and send help. These patterns can be used either from an emergency call box or telephone. What happens when a deaf or hard of hearing person witnesses an emergency and is unable to locate a call box or pull station to report the situation? A hearing person calling into 911 on a telephone would report the incident and listen to the instructions given by the operator. When a deaf or hard of hearing person reports on a public payphone via voicing or the tapping system, it is imperative that they stay on the line even though they cannot hear the responses of the operator. Hello, I am Jeff. I can speak but I cannot hear in the telephone. I need to report a medical emergency, uh, a heart attack I think, on the north and at the Brooklyn Promenade in Brooklyn Heights. I will repeat, there is a medical emergency, um, maybe a heart attack, on the north end of the Brooklyn Promenade in Brooklyn Heights. The caller should report the information and stay on the line until emergency personnel arrives. 911 operators verify the open line to pinpoint the caller's location. If you have a medical emergency and are using the telephone and you cannot voice, you must use the same two-tap pattern for fire as is used at an emergency call box. The fire department will send a response vehicle equipped with medical equipment and medically trained personnel. If you are reporting an emergency that is not of a medical nature and is not a fire and you cannot voice, use the continuous single tap after dialing 911 to summon the police. It is important for you to remember that when calling for help from an emergency call box or telephone and you cannot voice, there are two tapping patterns you can use to summon emergency help. A continuous tapping pattern summons the police department. A two-tap pattern summons the fire department and medical assistance. It is recommended that you remain at the box or telephone and continue the tapping pattern until help arrives. The purpose of this video has been to illustrate the various means by which people who are deaf or hard of hearing can seek assistance in the event of an emergency. If you are able to voice, you can voice using either the call box or 911. 
after pressing the police or fire button on the call box or after calling 911, wait four seconds before voicing. Voice your location and the nature of the emergency. Repeat your message. After voicing, you can tap for at least 90 seconds, preferably until help arrives. Use the single tap pattern for police and the two tap pattern for fire and medical emergencies.